If you love Asian food, then you definitely love fried rice as well. However, fried rice can be a little hard to eat at times during a good diet because it's so high in carbs and fats. In today's recipe, we're going to be using cauliflower rice, which drops the carbs significantly. And we're also going to be taking out some of the fats as well. We're also going to be meal prepping it for the week. So let's get cooking up, guys. I finally made a recipe that allows us to eat fried rice any time of the week. I never liked the idea of cauliflower rice, but this is actually a pretty amazing substitute for rice since it had a fraction of the carbs and some pretty awesome flavors and textures. Let's get into the recipe guys. So the ingredient list will be down in the description below so make sure you get everything before you start this recipe. We're going to be starting it off with 1 pound of cauliflower, 1 tablespoon of chopped bell peppers and 2 tablespoons of chopped carrots, 2 tablespoons of chopped green onions and 1 tablespoon of another bell pepper, 3 ounces of cooked shrimp and 1 tablespoon of garlic, 2 large eggs, we got 1 tablespoon each of fish sauce and soy sauce, we actually meant to have that as fish sauce not sesame oil, they just look similar so we kind of mix it up a bit. We got salt and pepper to taste, we got a tablespoon of olive oil and a little bit of MSG, you don't have to use that but it does make it taste a little better. We got 8 ounces of shrimp, a whole head of garlic, and we got a tablespoon each of garlic powder and cornstarch. So let's start off the recipe by processing the cauliflower rice. We want to start it off by breaking up the little florets as it'll make it easier to blend in our food processor. You can actually just grate this up using a cheese grater as well which will actually give you a better consistency. If you're using a food processor like us, then just make sure to pulse a couple times until you have these tiny little pebbles. You can choose the consistency you want but we find that pebbles work best in terms of texture. Now it's time to get the shrimp ready. We can make the shrimp first as we want to let the cauliflower rice rest and actually harden up a bit in the fridge since it's going to soften significantly under the high heat of the wok. It's pretty simple from here but we want to eyeball some salt, garlic powder, black pepper, and cornstarch. About a teaspoon each is probably what we did here which was perfect for us. We might be in the minority here but we actually like having the shells on. Comment down below and let us know are you guys team shells on or shells off? Now let's cook up the shrimp. Shrimp is actually something I have a hard time cooking because it can go rubbery real quick if you're not careful. This might not be the most scientific way to measure if shrimp is fully cooked, but the way I like to do it is to see pink on both sides and just wait a minute before taking it out. Shrimp cooks pretty quickly, so make sure you're keeping your eyes peeled as we cook this up. We also added a ton of garlic cloves since you can never have too much garlic when it comes to shrimp. So now let's get into the proteins that will go into our fried rice here. Let's cook up the eggs and the extra small shrimp pieces into a pan before we get to making our fried rice. I used to be lazy and just cook these up into the wok and then just add the rice in but I feel like taking care of your toppings and eggs separately actually improves the texture of the entire dish. The high heats from a wok really make it hard to control the doneness of all these ingredients in there so taking these out really helps with keeping everything perfectly cooked. Nothing worse than overcooked eggs and shrimp so let's make sure we really take care of these. So up next, we got the secret ingredient that takes your fried rice game to the next level, a flavor bomb which is called sambal. If you have a mortar and pestle like us, then you can totally just grind everything down but if you don't, we'll make sure to put a link in the description below. If you're into making Asian foods, then this is definitely something you want to invest into. Into your mortar and pestle, let's add in 1 chopped habanero, 1 chopped jalapeno, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, 1 tablespoon of curry powder, and 1 tablespoon of fish sauce. Just grind it up for a minute or two and let all those flavors combine. This right here is a super delicious and flavorful paste that will just enhance every grain of rice in our dish. So now let's get into the easiest part about today's recipe which will be cooking up the fried rice. The reason why this is the easiest part is because we prepared everything beforehand and now we just need to simply mix everything in as we cook all the ingredients on high heat. Let's first add in some oil and then fry up the sambal. This really elevates the flavors and gets the harsh flavors of the garlic out of there. Then let's add in our proteins from earlier along with all the veggies we mentioned in the ingredients. Fry everything up for around a minute or two and then add in the cauliflower last since it only needs a minute or two of cook time to be done. Overcooked cauliflower rice gets really soggy so adding this in last really gets it to the perfect consistency. We are now at my favorite part of the video which is going to be the plating. Portion control really is the most important thing when looking to shred down, but using cauliflower rice takes out so many of the calories that you can eat a ton of this stuff while still staying lean. We'll make sure to put our portion size and nutrition facts for rolling these meals in the description below. I just want to take this time to say thank you to anyone who's watching these videos. If you want to support the channel and try out some recipes that we haven't featured on the channel, then make sure to check out our cookbook which you can purchase for $14.99 on our website. We're honestly having so much fun making these videos and we are approaching our 100th video. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers. We never thought we'd make it this far. Thanks so much for everyone watching and I hope you guys try this one out. Cauliflower rice is actually delicious if you make it correctly. Hope you guys like the recipe and I'll see you guys on the next one.